Welcome back to the On The Money YouTube channel powered by Allied Wealth. I'm your host, Ryan Wheelis. Welcome back to the channel. If you like the content we're putting out, hit the like button down below and hit the subscribe button as well. We'll keep you alerted when we put out new videos. Also, if you want to comment, feel free to comment. I'll personally answer all the comments down there in the uh, comment section in hopes that you get the most value out of the channel you possibly can. So today we're going to spend some time talking about buying a second home in retirement or just before retirement and how to do that. And we're really going to focus on obtaining a mortgage in retirement or before retirement and how best to do that. So oftentimes I sit down with prospective clients and I have a conversation with them about what their plans are. And, and I always want to find out if they're planning on buying a vacation home or second home. And the reason why I want to do that is it's a lot easier for them to buy that home while they are working than it is for them to buy that home once they retire. And what I mean by that is lenders like to see consistent, steady income from a reliable, steady source. So if you've had a job for 20 or 30 years, then obviously you've gotten a paycheck for that period of time. And the lender will look at your last 24 months of income and say, hey, your income's stable. It comes from a, a, a stable paycheck. You've got paycheck stubs. You've got a W-2. You obviously have the, enough income to qualify for this loan. So that's a super easy way to do it. So if you have plans to wait a little bit in retire, into retirement before buying that second home, you may really want to consider buying, going and buying it now while you're still working. I promise you it'll be a lot easy to qual easier to qualify for a mortgage if you go that way. Now, if you wait, it doesn't mean you can't get a mortgage, but it's important that you understand the potential fitfall, pitfalls um, because I don't want you to be in a situation to where you find the perfect home six months into retirement and can't buy it, even though you have enough money to buy it, enough assets to buy it, you can't buy it because you can't qualify for a mortgage income wise. So what happens is, let's just use this as an example. Let's say that six months into retirement, you do find that dream home and you decide you wanna buy it. Well, for six months now, you've been taking distributions from your ret retirement accounts and your investment accounts, maybe social security's in play, maybe it's not, but a lender is gonna look at that and go, well, you know what? you haven't had this type of income, this source of income for a period of 24 months. And they're gonna give you a hard time uh, about lending to you because of that. And they may want you to wait a full 24 months in order to qualify for that, for that mortgage, utilizing that, those income sources to prove that A, you've got 24 months of consistent income in the past from the same sources. And you also will have to prove the assets that you have uh, are enough and high enough to be able to uh, pay the life, pay the loan back over the life of the loan. So a couple of hoops to jump through there. Um, another thing to do uh, as well is be mindful of this. Let's say that you're, uh, you've got a house payment now, just arbitrary numbers here, 2000 bucks a month. Um, and then your other expenses, travel and, and food, water, shelter, clothing, that sort of thing, transportation, or I don't know, another 4,000 bucks a month. So your total expenses are maybe $6,000 a month. Well, if you're going to buy a second home then obviously, and get a mortgage, obviously you're gonna be adding a payment to that, right? So what happens is you've gotta have enough income to qualify for that payment. So if you're living at $6,000 a month, that's probably what your income is because we tend to take only what we need of our account, out of our accounts to live on. Well, if we would add this new mortgage, we've gotta figure out a way to prove a higher income. And again, a lender may wanna see that higher income for a period of time. So what you can do is ratchet your distributions up to a higher amount. And some lenders want to see it for a few months. Uh, if you've got a lender that will do that, by the way, over that few month period, what you can do is say, okay, I'm going to raise my, my distribution rate up, but I want to do this for a short period of time and maybe use some other funds if available to pay for it, whatever you want to do. A trick could be that you roll the money, you take the, the distribution out of your IRA, hold it in your checking account for 59 days, and then roll it over to another IRA via the, the 60 day IRA rollover provision that can allow you to prove a higher income for a, with a lender yet not pay taxes on the distribution. So it's a pretty good strategy. It will depend on whether the mortgage lender wants to see a few months of that higher income or six months of that higher income or 12 months or whatever it is. Um, so that's a great strategy to use in the event you're trying to raise your income to qualify for more payment. Another thing you can do too, um, is you can look at a brokerage account. And if you have a brokerage account, um, it, the brokerage account needs to have about 70% of the value of the, uh, uh, the home you're trying to purchase, all right? So if you've got a million dollar uh, account and you're buying a, a $700,000 home, the lender will look at 70% of the value in your brokerage account. So, okay, based on that, 
we feel like this borrower could in fact pay the $700,000 loan back. So that's one way to do it, all right, uh, is to be able to use an asset base um, uh, to qualify for a mortgage instead of using income. And those options are out there, though I will tell you they may carry a slightly higher interest rate. Well, interest rates can be a, a detrimental thing because the higher the rate, the higher the payment. Um, there may be some programs from the lender to be able to buy that rate back down to where it's palatable for you. So lots of options out there, but just be mindful that you're exploring those, all right? Um, Another option to look at is if you have a, uh, a TD Ameritrade account or Schwab account, Fidelity, whatever they are out there, some good, all good custodians and they're out there. Uh, another option that you have is you may be able to take a, a loan against your securities, okay? Um, so plenty of lenders out there will lend against securities. Now they're selective on what securities that they lend on. They're gonna lend on some, you know, three times leverage bull market or bear market funds or anything like that, but they will lend on certain types of securities. Um, so you could get the loan uh, from from doing from loaning or borrowing against your securities, and that's a great way to do it. Uh, rates are typically, you know, uh, pretty competitive with mortgages on that on that front. But there's one caveat you got to be mindful of. In the event that those securities fall because of a market crash, you could find yourself in a situation to where the value of those securities no longer supports the amount of your loan, and the lender or the uh, the, secure, the custodian may actually give you a capital call and force you to write a check to your account, or they may call the loan due. So those are those can, those those types of loans do come with some risk. All right, so folks, I'm just giving you some great ways uh, to be able to obtain a mortgage in retirement. I also just shared with you that do you know buying the second property before you actually retire while you still have that income is a better way to do it. But hey, things change when we get into retirement. We may want to move and do something different. And I share with you some ways to do to get a mortgage later on in life in retirement as well. I'm Ryan Wheelis. Thanks so much for tuning into tuning into the On the Money YouTube channel powered by Ally Wealth. Uh, give us a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and we'll keep sending out great content to you.